Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And today I have a very special fragrance for you from Rook Perfumes Forest 2020 edition. Now, this one has become one of my favorite organic, beautiful scents that I wear during summertime. And it can definitely pull it off during the winter as well, but it has this beautiful forest type of a vibe about it. Now, forest, which is the name of it, falls somewhere between a Chypre and a Fougé category. Uh, the nose behind this fragrance is Nadim Crow, and I hope I said that right. Nadim Crow created this masterpiece and I truly fell in love with this fragrance when I got it because it has this authentic and organic vibe about it uh, that not a lot of fragrances do. A lot of them, when they try to create a atmospheric vibe, such as like a force or something, it comes out either kind of weird or synthetic. But this one truly has that really real and natural vibe to it. Now, this to me is a nice and different and unique spring slash summer fragrance. This is a manly, smoldering, and lumberjack type of a scent. Okay, so let's spray it and see what we get on the initial spray as far as the cords goes. The spray is great, by the way. Wow. Yeah, it's very refreshing, it's very green, it's very mossy, very piney, it's very aromatic, it's woody, it has that moist vegetation to it, cannabis, it's smoky, and also balsamic at the same time. So these are the accords that I get. So again, it's mossy, it's piney, it's very green, it's aromatic, it's woody, it has that moist uh, vegetation vibe to it. It has that cannabis type of vibe to it. It's smoky and balsamic at the same time. It's really addicting, seriously. It's gorgeous. So this is a fabulous green, moist, leafy, and addictive lumberjack type of a scent. It smells extremely natural, very unisex. It easily can be a signature scent, green and approachable. You see how great this sprayer is? So Forest 2020 Edition is a very woody, watery, cypress, and piney type of a scent. It smells like a green, lush, alive, wet, and moist forest with mineral water running right through it. You can smell the moist earth like it has been just rained on. It literally smells like that. Imagine the set of movie Predator or Jurassic Park. It just gives me that type of a image when I smell this fragrance. It's definitely very lumberjack type of a scent. It's Let's get to the notes of the fragrance. Top notes, you get cypress. That's why it's so uplifting and I like it and relaxing at the same time. You have pine tree. That's why I talk about lumberjack. And then the middle notes, you got black pepper, you got incense, the incense make it smoky. And then you got cannabis, which gives it that kind of marijuana type of vibe to it. Not too much, uh, nothing stinky, but just has that smoky uh, kind of a green marijuana type of vibe to it. Now, as far as the base notes goes, you got patchouli, you get cedar wood, and you get musk in here. So it has some really interesting notes in here and it makes the fragrance just great. It's been blended really nicely. There is no rough edges and it's very smooth. And one thing that stands out the most is very authentic and very organic smelling. Now, let's get to the performance and longevity of this fragrance. This fragrance is definitely a performer. It has some very interesting notes in it and they last for a long time. On my skin, I get easily eight hours and then it becomes a skin scent. So it lasts for a long time and for being a green fragrance, it's definitely very long lasting. So it's a great performer and I will definitely give it a nine out of 10 as far as the performance and longevity goes. Now, some people they have complained 
they told me that they don't get a lot of longevity out of it. So again, this is on my skin. Everybody's skin is different on me, especially when I spray it on my clothes, it lasts very long. So uh, on some people I heard it goes for about three to four hours, so it depends. So that's as far as the performance and longevity goes for this fragrance. Now, let's get to the uh, projection and sillage. On the initial spray, you get a huge, enormous projection. You get about four feet because it's very pungent and it definitely fills out the room. Now, it has an enormous sillage for the first hour, so the sillage doesn't last that long and then it becomes very close to your skin and that just goes for a very long time, as I mentioned, for about eight to nine hours. So that's as far as the uh, uh, projection and sillage of uh, Forest Edition 2020 goes. Now let's get to the complement factor of this fragrance. This fragrance, again, it's very artistic. It's a natural, uh, organic type of a, a fragrance. So if you are a fragrance collector, you would definitely love this. But at the same time, it has this type of a French lover type of a vibe by uh, Frédéric Mal. Um, it has that vibe to it, and a lot of ladies like this because it has that lumberjack type of a feel to it. It's very manly, definitely a compliment getter. So for that, I would give it an eight out of 10. Now, as far as the versatility goes, interestingly, this fragrance is a versatile fragrance or versatile scent. As far as seasons goes, and as far as wearing goes. You can wear this all year round and you can also wear this kind of anywhere uh, you want. You can wear this to school, you can wear this to work. Uh, it's a very interesting fragrance. It's not uh, too overpowering and it's something that's very uplifting, it's very relaxing. So I would say as far as versatility goes, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Now let's get to uniqueness of this. Well, this is definitely a very unique fragrance. Uh, they're trying to create this organic type of a scenery, uh, which they did, which is a forest. It definitely creates that. When I spray this, the image definitely comes into my mind right away, and it doesn't smell synthetic at all. It's very natural, and it's very organic smelling. And with that being said, that's all I have for Forest 2020 Edition by Rook Perfumes. If you guys haven't tried this, definitely give it a try. Uh, you can get samples. There are samples available on his website. You can also reach him out through Instagram. If you guys own this, let me know in the comment section what's your take on this fragrance. And that's it, you guys. That's all I have. Thank you so much. And hopefully see you guys soon with another video. Peace and ciao.